If you've listened to the Power 5 this week, then you've gone 18, 8, and 2 with your bets. Pretty good. That's 69% winners. Now, Saturday, yesterday, was the first losing day of the week for us here on the Power 5. So time to get back on the horse. Here on Sunday, I've got some English Premier League as well as four Major League Baseball plays, including Sunday Night Baseball. Go ahead, smash that like button if you've been enjoying these free winners here on Wedge Talk TV. And as a reminder, you can always comment down below with any questions or thoughts on these selections for today. Uh, how about we start in the English Premier League? Uh, breakfast time. I gave you two winners on the pitch Saturday here on the show, Brighton and Nottingham Forest. Today, we're looking to take the plus two with Brentford. I think the Bees, at the very least, can stay within a goal of Liverpool this morning. Remember last week, Liverpool had a bit of trouble covering the minus one and a half at Ipswich Town, who is the favorite of most to be relegated at the end of the season. Liverpool only won 2 nil against, against Ipswich. Both goals came in the second half. To win by three goals here it seems like a big ask. Brentford's firmly a mid-table side, guys. Uh... And they've typically been quite pesky, have the Bees, in the underdog role since they came back to the top flight. Third best expected goal difference against England's top six clubs the last three seasons. Brentford, they were also 2-1 winners over Crystal Palace, a team many are high on this season. Uh, that was last week in the opening match. I see this one being close. Take the plus two with Brentford. You should only have to lay around minus 120, minus 125 to do that. All right, second play for today, moving to Major League Baseball. Should also bet the under eight and a half in Reds Pirates. Reds, they're going to be looking to earn a series split here at PNC Park after winning 10 to 2 yesterday. Pirates had just three hits in that game. Now, I would not bank on the Reds swinging the bats as well as they did yesterday for a couple reasons. One, they've got a very inconsistent lineup. Who among us has not been burned by this Reds offense once or twice in the 2024 season? Secondly, the Reds aren't getting to face Jay Wood Woodford again today. Uh, Woodford is horrendous. We saw it again Saturday when he started for the Bucks. Uh, we've got two good starters on the mound, as a matter of fact, on Sunday. Nick Martinez for the Reds. He's got a 2.72 ERA and a .80 whip on the road this season. He's been really good since moving from the bullpen. And for the Pirates, it's Luis Ortiz, who's better than his record shows. Some numbers that I'm interested in with Ortiz, 1.76 ERA and .88 whip in the daytime. Again, take under 8.5 in this NL Central matchup. Third play, I also like the Red Sox. First five innings today against the D-backs. Sox, the Sox are looking to avoid what would be a three-game sweep here at Fenway. You may recall on Friday's edition of the Morning Wager, the other show I do daily with uh, my good friend Mark Zitto, I told you to bet the D-backs uh, on that show. They won that series opener 12-2. Then they won again Saturday by a score of 4-1. So why jump on the other side, Boston, today? Well, despite the fact that the Sox have uh, lost each of his last six starts, I like Boston's Tanner Houck. He's got a 2.41 ERA his last three starts, all of them quality. He's got a 2.94 ERA for the year here at Fenway. Meanwhile, Arizona's Merrill Kelly, he really struggled his last time out, which is his first time starting on the road since April. Kelly gave up six runs in four innings in Tampa. So I would, now, I, I would prefer to leave Boston's bad bullpen off the table when betting this game. My view is, if they're able to avoid the sweep, it's going to be on the arm of Hauk. So Boston, first five money line. That should be around minus 145, minus 150. If that's too much juice for you to swallow, then play Boston, first five run line, lay the half a run. That should be around minus 110, though you obviously won't have the insurance if things are tied after five innings. But I think the Astros, or pardon me, the Red Sox are ahead after five innings in that game against the D-backs. Fourth play for today. One more in the afternoon. Phillies team total over four and a half. This is the rubber match of a three-game series at Kansas City. Phil's lost first one, but rolled on Saturday, winning by a score of 11 to 2. They had 18 hits in that victory. Today, we want to fade Royals starter Seth Lugo. And Lugo may be second in all of baseball with 14 wins. But he has an expected ERA of 3.97, which isn't great. I think he's due for some regression. Uh, and regression has already begun to hit for Lugo. Oh, by the way, he's allowed six or more runs, three of his last five starts. We also don't want to leave the Royals' bullpen out of this, guys. They're 25th in ERA. Now, with Kansas City being number one in the American League, 5.3 runs per game at home, 
betting this game to go over isn't a bad idea either, but two things kept me off that particular bet. One, the number's already been bet to nine and a half. It crossed through the key number nine. Two, Colby Allard, he's currently listed as the starter for Philly, but there's a chance they're going to pull the old switcheroo, use an opener before Allard. So let's just focus on the Phillies to go over their team total of four and a half. Again, they scored 11 yesterday, and they averaged 4.8 runs per game for the season. Before I get to Sunday Night Baseball, reminder, it's Wager Talk's 10th anniversary. We've been celebrating all weekend long by allowing you to take 30% off any all-access purchase. Today is your last day to take advantage of that offer. Just be sure to use coupon code 10YEAR, that's 1-0-Y-E-A-R, at checkout. That way you get your instant 30% savings. I already have my soccer game of the week available for purchase today. Uh, it goes early. If you miss out on that, I still have the 5% max bet on a college football season win total. It's my favorite season win total, college or NFL for 2024. Uh, going back to December of 2022, bowl season, I've hit 70% with my top-rated college football selections. This is the first time I've ever released a win total, let alone made one of 5%. Just head on over to wt.buzz slash bp to get down now. All right, wanted to give you something for the Sunday Night Baseball game, which is Astros at Orioles. A Freudian slip earlier with the Astros. And that is because I like them in the first five tonight. And it's because of this starting pitching matchup, which I'm going to get into in just a second. This starting pitching matchup tilts so heavily towards the Strohs. I'm going to play a first five run line, minus a half run. That should net a nice plus 120 return for you. It is Yusei Kikuchi going for the Astros. Since getting Kikuchi in a trade with Toronto, the Astros are 4-0 in his starts. He's allowed three runs or less in all four. 31 strikeouts in 22 and a thirds innings pitch. That is very impressive. Major edge to Kikuchi over Dean Kramer of Baltimore. Kramer's got a 4.85 ERA and a 1.45 whip here at Camden Yards. Such a big time advantage again. First five run line. Minus the half a run is the play for me. Houston Astros on Sunday Night Baseball. Let us now recap the Power Five, shall we? We started on the other side of the pond. English Premier League. We take the two goals, plus two with Brentford against Liverpool. Number two, moving to Major League Baseball. Under eight and a half, Reds Pirates. Number three, Red Sox, first five over the Diamondbacks. Number four, Phillies, team total over four and a half. And last but not least, Astros, first five. Five run line minus half a run. It's around plus 120. That is your fifth and final play for today. You can let me know what you think of those selections by commenting down below. Also, if you already haven't done so, smash that like button. Always appreciate the support. And if you're not subscribed to the Wage Talk YouTube channel, do so now. You click that bell, you get instant alerts when all of your favorite shows drop. Speaking of your favorite shows, not only do I do the Power 5 daily here on Wager Talk TV, but you can't forget about the Morning Wager with myself and Mark Zinno every Monday through Friday. That does it for the Power 5 for Sunday, August 25th. Once again, you can find my picks at wt.buzz slash bp. You can find me on Twitter at Brian Power underscore wins. Until next time, let's catch some tickets.